I think we got to get in a little NFC South chatter as well. So I know that you bet one win total from the division. It is not on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but what are you expecting from them this year? Because I was talking with you a little bit about this off air, and I think that this could be much like last year. One of those really good under teams again with them not drafting a quarterback. They're trotting out their Baker Mayfield, but they still have a relatively good defense still fully intact with a guy in Todd Bowles that knows his defense. I think also just look, you look at the schedule. A lot has been made. The South divisions play each other relatively easy path. But if you just focus on the NFC South, like which team in the division has the scary offense. And really for me, it starts at the quarterback position and I don't really trust any of them. I know you can get, I guess some people are getting excited about Derek Carr and the saints and, and they're going to have this easy path, but I don't see that either. I see a lot of defense first teams. And to your point, I probably as a division, I see a lot of under games here. And so boy, it, it, it's, if I was a bucks fan, like I'm not a tank guy, I'm not an NBA culture, like in the NFL guy, but I do think that Tampa is one of those teams that could if I was looking at the low, like fewest wins market, and I wanted to kind of take a stab on someone a little different, Tampa might be interesting there. They're to me, they're completely out from a divisional like race standpoint. I don't, I'm not a huge Todd Bowles guy, but you, to your point, I think they're going to be competitive with defense, and I think at the end of the day, their quarterback play will be what limits them. No question about it. I could see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers losing and being like the opposite of the Minnesota Vikings, where the Vikings won all those one score games. That could be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers losing like 13 to 7, 13 to 10 on a weekend and week out uh, basis. And I, I, will, I will say, yeah, sorry. I will say though, Bruce Arians, who is obviously no longer coaching the team, but still must be hanging around the facilities. He is very excited about Baker Mayfield. So I, for, for what it's worth, may, they seem to think they're going to be good this year. Well, I know <laughs> that there have been quite a few people that have been excited about Baker Mayfield and Darn near all of them have been let down. So he wouldn't be the first. And I don't know if he's going to be the last or not. And there's a lot of excitement around Bryce Young as well. He became the number one overall pick of the Carolina Panthers. And I know that you've been taking a little bit of a look at their win total. This one has been moving around a little bit because we know that with the NFL draft, that moves this around a little bit and just see lack of moves that some of these teams are making as well. But what do you make out of the Carolina Panthers? And what did you bet their win total at? I think just in general, um, it's still sitting at seven and a half where I have it. I see the juice is moved slightly towards the over um, uh, plus 115 to the under. Now, it, to me, this is a fade of a rookie quarterback. And I just don't think we see rookie quarterbacks come in and, and win eight games right out of the gate. I understand that maybe his schedule will be easier. And I understand that he joined a team that wasn't the first pick in the draft. They were the ninth pick in the draft and they traded up. All of that being said, when you trade away DJ Moore and you you make some of the moves they make, like they are going to be a shell on offense. They have some fun pieces. Frank Reich has this, you know, godlike reputation. I'm not sure why he hasn't had much much success recently with old guys. And, and at, at the end of the day, you know, I I, I Bryce Young just he's going to have to show it to me before I think this is a kid who's going to compete for a playoff spot. Because if they win eight games. They are going to very much be in the playoff hunt in the NFC. And that that's just that's they're not the team in the AFC or in the NFC South that I'm circling as a maybe surprise uh, team to make the playoffs or even win the division. And do you feel like they might be the deficitaries, for lack of a better term, of the way that they were able to perform last season? Because it was looking like it was a fire sale. They trade off Christian McCaffrey. And because the division was just so bad, they were able to pick up quite a few nice wins and I feel like that's part of the reason why this win total is so hiked up because they last year were a team that was in the thick of it in the division until the final week or two of the season. It's it's very fair point. And I think even like that's the argument as to why they're going to be good. Bryce Young doesn't have to do a ton. Maybe they, they continue. But, but I would argue against the fact that Frank Reich is a massive step up from Matt Rule or even Wilkes uh, to, to the point of Wilkes. He was the guy that really repaired everything. And, and from the, the reports from inside the building, it was a motivational edge. It was a, he was getting guys to get it done. And we don't know that Frank Reich is speaking the same language when it comes to that kind of motivation. So when I see it, I'll believe it. But I, I, I just think that they're going to be another team in the NFC South where we're talking about, hey, their defense can do some things, but man, that offense really leaves a, a little bit to be desired. So 
you know, profiles as a team that if they fall behind, they're going to have some trouble. Go to VEASAN.com slash subscribe to become a VEASAN Pro subscriber today.